Hi, welcome to Keelin's Grotto. Today I'm going to take you through a simple recipe of a Christmas pudding piñata. So for this piñata I'm going to be using white chocolate, dark chocolate, the Massa Ticino sugar paste, IBC coloured cocoa butters, shimmer powders along with various Mona Lisa products as fillings. So first of all you want to melt and vigorously shake your cocoa butters as well as cleaning your moulds. Next you want to take a sponge, dab it into your cocoa butter, scrape off any excess and dab into your giant sphere mould. This will help to create a Christmas pudding effect on the finished product. Next we're decorating the stand. I've made mine on a make you machine. This machine is great if you want to make personalised products or like me, need something a little bit different for a centrepiece. So, to use the Meiku machine, you will need a handheld vacuum, the plastic sheets it comes with and the form you want to use. The idea is that you heat the plastic to make it malleable and then you bring it down over the form and the vacuum does the rest. So, as you can see, the form is made there and I'm just going to wait for it to cool down before removing. So, to finish the stand, I'm going to be painting with various cocoa butters. I'm also using a 70ml sphere mould here as a mini piñata and also as a stand. So next I'm going to spray the moulds. So I fill my spray gun with the tempered IBC cocoa butters. You want to create a nice even layer on your mould. As you can see this really helps to make the other colours pop on the Meiku mould and your mini piñatas. So onto the decorative holly leaves now. So I'm using the Master Ticino sugar paste here. They're really great because they don't really form a skin. So here I'm rolling it out between plastic sheets. This helps to not dilute the colour with icing sugar or corn flour and it also makes it a little easier to work with. Once you've rolled out your sugar paste you want to take your holly cutter and cut your holly leaves. This cutter has a depression button to leave detail. Once you've cut your holly leaves, you want to remove them from the rest of the paste and allow to harden slightly. After they have hardened slightly you want to take some white cocoa butter and a paintbrush and just dirty up the edges a little bit with that cocoa butter. This helps to give a little bit of realism to them and breaks up the green. So on to making the berries now. I'm taking the red Massa Machino sugar paste here and creating a thin cylinder. Once you've created your thin cylinder, you want to take a knife and just cut small pieces off and then roll them in the palm of your hand to make little berries.
So for the small chocolate tempering machine, I am tempering my chocolate first and then adding it to a pre-warmed chocolate melter. This should stay tempered for roughly half an hour. So to use the digital melting chalk, you need to choose one of the various settings depending on the chocolate that you're using. Allow your chocolate to melt and wait for the beeps. This will indicate when to add your preceded chocolate collets. You must mix these in and wait for the beeps to let you know it's tempered. Once it's tempered, it should keep its temper for roughly an hour. So onto the filling. Like I said, I'm using various Mona Lisa products as well as making some bonbons and Neapolitan bars. But feel free to use anything that you like, dried fruit, nuts or candies. So here I'm just decorating the moulds with various cocoa butters and shimmer powders. And then finishing with a lovely Christmas themed transfer sheet. So assembling the piñata, first of all you want to glue your base to the card insert. You do this by melting it slightly. Then I dust the inside of each sphere with a shimmer powder. This will help to create a small plume of powder when you crack the piñata. Next is on to filling one half of the piñata with your choice of filling. I'm using crisper pearls, honeycomb pieces and marshmallows, along with the bonbons and Neapolitan bars that I made earlier. So now you want to attach the other half sphere to the filled sphere. You do this by melting it slightly and placing it on top. I'm using free spray here. You want to avoid using this as it is inedible. I'm using it because of the lights in the kitchen that make it very warm. So next onto the brandy sauce topping, I'm just using tempered white chocolate here to create a dripping effect. If you want in a box for your Christmas pudding piñata, we suggest the Easter egg box that is four flaps and 150 by 150 by 200 millimeters. This fits perfectly for your Christmas pudding piñata. Then to finish, we place the holly on top. And voila, your own Christmas pudding piñata.